What's going on, everybody? It's your boy. Welcome to Fat Boy Fragrance. Of course, I'm Mr. Fat Boy. And today we got us a good one, baby. We're going to get all up in this nice summer series. Keep my summer series going. Uh, we're going to have us a nice big old list of some fragrances here. As y'all can check out for the summer. Niche style, baby. We're going to get all up in it. But first of all, if this is your first time checking out your boy. Or if you've been gone for a while and you decide to come back, come on in. Hit that like and subscribe. Make sure you get the notifications because your boy puts in the work. Every day a video. Content, content, content for y'all. The only way to be. The hardest working man is YouTube game. A fragrance channel. A sports channel. And coming uh, uh, Sunday, a nostalgic 90s throwback ch uh, channel called Back in the Day with Fat Boy. Yeah, I'm putting in the work. Plus, you know, your boy's got FatBoyFragrance.com, where businesses are booming. Thank you for the support. Remember what I always say, the customer's always right. Take care of the customer. All right, we're going to have us a big old list today of some slept-on fragrances, man. Nice style. We don't hear a lot of hype about, but are worth your time checking out. For the summer, if you're still trying to find some summer niche fragrances, your boy's got you covered. And you know how we do it, baby. Let's get all up in this. After the after my intro, I'm gonna get all up in this. You know how we get to that intro, though, baby. No salad, no dessert, just straight steak and beans. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews starts now. Alright baby, we back. Man, on this Sugar Hill plate. This is the long version. So this should get us through the whole video. I used to rap this song with the house band at the restaurant I used to work at. People used to go crazy. They used to love to watch old white people dance. The coolest thing in the world, man. Because when you get to an age, a certain age, and you dance, and you don't care what people think about what you, what you look like when you're dancing or not. It's getting down. It's mostly a little bit of knee movement and hips, but not a lot else. But it works. All right. Let's get all up in this list. I got a bunch of them. Some of them have two from the same house. Some of them you're going to be like, man, I know that one, but not everybody does talk about it. So these are fragrances that are slept on for the summer, niche style. Let's call it underrated fragrances. Let's call it uh, uh, um, ones that you need to check out. And if you want to sample these, a lot more available at fatboyfragrance.com. Support your boy. All right. Let's get started. First one, up, Tet Libre Orange. You are something like you. This one, it used to get a little bit of hype, but man, you talk about a great fragrance for the summertime. Ugh, mint, green, you know, a green citrusy mint vibe to it. Super nice. Unisex can be worn by either, 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 either sex. Very nice. Nope, almost dropped it. Been a while since I dropped one, but this one right here, a fantastic fragrance for the summertime. Well worth checking out now. I haven't checked today. But if you run over to Fragrance by Canada, which I'll leave the link below, woo, they got these back in stock. Rarely ever do they have them. We're talking, these are retail, 140. When you go to the gray market, except for reach, except for Fragrance by Canada for some reason, like on eBay, anywhere else like that, this is the $80, $90 bottle for 50 ml, easy. Fragrance by Canada got them for 50 bucks they still ain't left. Now, I went through there and cleaned house and bought a couple of each of them. And I got a surprise coming on one I bought. We'll talk about that later. Uh, I had my next haul video. Stay tuned. It's a massive haul. All right. So, Erica is running. I'm going to let it run because it's going to cut right back off. I'm not going to worry about it. We're going to keep on going, baby. I ain't going to stop. There's no edits. First one. Worth checking out. You or someone like you. All right. Up next, House of Joe Malone, man. I got two of these. For, uh, one of them from Joe Malone, did I? Have two. I thought I had two. Yeah, two from Joe Malone. Slept on. Nobody talks about them. Everybody talks about Herb and Sea Salt. Nobody talks about these two. Orange Blossom. It's 
superb, superb orange scent. But it's like almost a bitter orange, which I like. Yeah, I love this one. Love this one. All right. If y'all give me a second, I am going to plug my microphone up. Because I ain't doing no edits, man. You know what? Not going to hear me? We're going to go like this. Microphone on the phone's pretty good. I'm not going to change it up. All right. The next one from Joe Malone, Oris and Sandalwood. Oh, man. This one is so underrated. Nobody talks about it. Man. Woodsy. Citrusy. A nice citrus, woody, aromatic fragrance that just does the job. Super nice. And performance is great. I'm not a huge fan of Joe Malone fragrances. I do like this one. There's another one I want to try. Just I got a sample of, and I, and I plan to try it. But these two right here, I, I did my research. These are the ones I really like, and I enjoy wearing. All right, up next we have from Imaginary Authors, which I used to have a bunch more Imaginary Authors, but I sold most of them. But this one is still my favorite over uh, St. Julep. St. Julep was overhyped. This one right here, underhyped. Falling into the sea. Man. Lemon, bergamot, grapefruit, licorice, tropical flowers, and warm sand. Whatever that warm sand means. But man, this one right here screams the beach, screams summertime, and it's perfect. And it lasts a good time, a good bit. Oh, it's totally slipped on. Man, this fragrance is so good. Unisex, man, <laughs> this thing is so good. Falling into the sea. If you can get a chance, check it out. Check it out. Don't hate. I Man, I ain't gonna lie. This one gets more hate than anything else. But of all the fragrances that came out by reviewers, this one's actually pretty nice to wear in the summertime. By the user Grove. Yeah, from Galleria Parfums. Uh, yeah. I like this one. Weird, but I do. Yeah, it has a nice smoky citrusy vibe to it that I like. And I think this works great in the summertime. A nighttime fragrance too, if you want to like a summertime, nighttime. It's a nice scent, man. Give it a try before you knock it. Don't go into it thinking, oh, it's a clone, it's something else. Just try it on, man. See what you think. Don't hate until you try it. That's my rule, man. All right. Up next, we'll do two from the same house, Parfums de Nikolai. This house is starting to grow on me, and I got more stuff I need to get from them. They have a fragrance called New York or something like that that I absolutely want to try so bad. They have one called Neroli I want to try, and one called Cuba I want to try. But these I have right now are Fig Tea. You've heard me talk about Fig Tea before. And... Angelus Pear. I think that's what you say. Yeah, Angelus Pear. Angel's Pear. Man. First of all, look at the bottles. Gorgeous bottles, right? Gorgeous bottles. Okay. You can pick these up on Fragrance by Canada. I'll leave the link for that, too, if you want a full bottle. If you want to sample, these are available for sampling at Fat Boy Fragrance, too. But Fig Tea is just a gorgeous, nice, refreshing take on Fig and Tea. It does, it smells so natural. It smells really well crafted. It's just a fantastic niche fragrance. It's done so well. Underrated house, too, big time. Angus Pear is more of a unisex, definitely unisex, maybe at least a little bit feminine. I would wear this in a casual environment, but it does the trick. If you like pear, if you like that fruitier vibe, if you like a little bit of floral notes in your fragrance, man, up your alley right here. Ah! Oh. Tastes like wood. Alright, so I'm going to get this thing going a little bit faster. Alright, there's one I almost forgot about. I'm going to grab it. This one right here is so underrated, and I didn't know about it until a fellow reviewer told me about it. But you have to try this. Jones Beach from Bond Number 9. Nobody talks about it except for Mr. Miami. Neil, uh, Miami Coast, he talked about it, got me on, on it, and I've been in love with it ever since. Oh, God bless America. This is beautiful, fresh, citrusy scent. The summer with a nice floral take on it. Love that one, too. All right, some more slept on fragrances. 
criminally slept on. I just got me a refill coming, so I'll, if you want to sample this, there will be samples available of this one again. I actually have put all my replicas. I got a couple extra bottles of replicas now. I'm starting a listing. It just has replicas on there, but you can pick out what you want all in one listing, one-stop shopping. But this one right here is Mason Margiela's replica ceiling day and replica flying. Neroli based scent. This kind of floral. Blue aquatic scent. Aromatic. Gorgeous. Ah. Man. I love this fragrance. It's so fresh. It's so, it's so nice. It's so well done. I love this fragrance. And then flying. If you want a classy Neroli vibe. There you go. But nobody talks about them. Severely slept on. Then I review on this one, and I'm going to keep talking about it if somebody starts typing it up like me. And that is Feel and Chill, Just Box. Nobody's hyping this one up. You got watermelon in there. You got pig. You got aquatic notes. This one is just perfect. It's a perfect scent that should be get a lot more hype than when it gets. Mm. And it should be reviewed by more, more reviewers. It should be loved by more people. This one, severely underrated. You have to try this if you can. Feeling chill from Just Box. All right. From Montal, which I never really talk about Montal. I have a couple Montals. The problem with Montal is I can't tell how much is left in it. They're so light. But this one is called Tropical Wood. I thought about this one when I saw Curly Fragrance do a review on some summer fragrances. And I was like, you know, I got that fragrance. And I don't wear a lot of woody scents, but this one's kind of nice. And she was right. This does fit the summer vibe. And I think it does well. Tropical wood does fit that summer vibe really well. Let's spray it in the air. This one's kind of got a little oud vibe to it, but I don't mind oud too much. You know, a certain kind of oud. I know. I don't hate oud, but I like this one. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice. It's It's very strong. Don't put this thing on about three times and do not spray this the minute you walk into a place and expect somebody to love the way you smell. This one takes a little bit of home cooking on your skin they really pick up. So that is Montal Tropical Wood. I got some from Nissan A. Oh, how's Nissan A slipped on? I guarantee you nobody talks about these. They've been out a little while, but they're too freshies and most people lean towards the heavier scents from Nissan A. But this one right here, Wulong Cha. Aramba, uh, Amber Calabria, super underrated. I think it's like 150 you can pick up the smaller bottles of them for. I don't know if I have samples left of these. Maybe of this one I do, you can sample. Um, or if you did buy something from me and you wanted to sample any of these, let me know. I can send you a small sample of my personal stash. Don't mind that at all either. Take care of the customer, baby. Wulang Chaw has a kind of like a Creed's. Uh, Silver Mountain Water vibe to it. Kind of like that. But well done too. Yeah. Oh, God bless America. That is gorgeous. So fresh. This one is such a fresh, uplifting fragrance, man. If I ever make an uplifting fragrance list, this will be on it. Will and Chaw. Alright. Amber Calabria. Nice Italian, Sicilian. I mean, Italian lemon, Sicilian lemon vibe to it. Bergamot. Ah. Yeah, and it almost has, it's just it's just creamy. It's gorgeous. It's so nice. And oh, this, this is unisex too. Women can wear it too. So Nishanes Amber Calabria. Not talked about enough. Slipped on hard. All right. I'm going to switch songs real quick. Because, man, I'm going to work 14 minutes. I didn't think I was going to do it. I'm going to let it play again, baby. It's almost over. We got a couple left from some indie houses. And I saved those for last. I love these indie houses. From the folks over at Karen NYC, you got Santal Sky. You like Santal 33 from Labau? Uh, Check out this one too. In the same kind of vein, but not a copy of it. It's own thing and it's gorgeous. Oh. What this actually reminds me of is another 13 Shades. And that fragrance is such hyped up. Uh, 13 Shades, whatever it's called. That's a hyped up beast. This one should be hyped up way more than what it is. 
you haven't tried it, try it and let me know what you think about any of these or if I'm wrong or right. But I feel like these are criminally slept on and they need to be talked about more. It's okay, guys. Somebody's going to talk about you one day. This one I've been talking about for a year now. Come on, people, catch on. Mint, 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 mint. If you like a mint fragrance, refreshing, cool fragrance, Abbott's the Cape is up your alleyway. 90 bucks, get you a uh, 50, ml, uh, 50 ml. It's still pricey, but worth it. Good performance, solid, definitely its own mint thing by itself. I just, this is my second bottle. I just bought the other one. I love this one. Of all the ones in that line, this is my favorite. But they do have some nice fragrances. Abbott, the cape from Abbott NYC. Last one, I haven't talked much about. I haven't worn it much. But I wore it the other day as just a spray on. I was going to the store. I was like, man, this is complex. This is nice. This is not what I expected. Because when you hear saffron, you think, oh, back right was by 40. No. Saffron and vanilla. How does this work in the summertime? It works. And for ladies, this is something you have to try too. I'm going to put this on my skin. Saffron and Bella by Prague, which is a, uh, a fragrance house out of Thailand. This one has, it's really weird. It has this, I don't know how to put it, but it smells like it's in a box, like in a container, like it's contained, it's sterilized. Not like chemical wise, just like it's an environment I walk into and I just smell this perfect environment. I don't know how to explain this, but this one's almost spiritual to me. It's relaxing, it makes me feel good, and man, that blend of saffron and vanilla is done so well. I don't think they realize what a hit they have here. That this one's not talked about more. Criminally slept on. Alright. There's some ones that y'all can check out. Uh, most of these are pretty affordable. You can find them on Fragrance by Canada. Um, on the website. Or if you want to sample. Alright. That's all the time I got, baby. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay well. And if you smell good, you're going to feel good. And baby, it's going to be all good. Bad Boy Fragrance Reviews is out.